One last thing on venture capital. This is a really interesting insight. So, you know, myself being in Sweden and being from the U.S., running a U.S. company, I get exposed to different markets and how they operate. And of course, as I look at venture capital, as we consider adding venture capital to scale slash dev even further, I'm studying this market and getting to know the ins and outs. And one interesting thing that I'm finding is you can actually get so much higher of a valuation in the U.S. market versus in European or global markets. And based on my research, I was looking at some data sets of companies and the valuations they were able to get in terms of the price that they got uh, relative to their revenue. You can get anywhere from five to 40%, 40 plus percent, obviously for the outliers, more money in the US if you raise capital. So we're talking about if you raise $5 million, you could have raised $7 million in the US. And that is a huge discrepancy and a huge advantage that you need to take advantage of. If you can get access to U.S. capital, you're going to have a better runway and more resources to move forward. So to me, it's a no brainer. And I could see more foreign companies looking to get access to Silicon Valley venture capital and U.S. venture capital moving forward. So do you think that's just because VC firms in the U.S. are more aggressive and maybe just have more funds in general? Um or it, yeah. And another question is, are you specifically talking about if you're getting funding from the U.S. or are you saying U.S. based companies that are raising funding are getting more money versus European companies? Or are you just saying the source of the funds is what makes the change? So you, this is based on being a U.S. company. So you have to get into the U.S., Gotcha. U.S. VCs will invest in companies abroad, but I think to really capture this advantage, you need to have a company in the U.S. But for most startups, they'd be super happy to incorporate in the U.S. if we're talking about 40% more capital that they can bring in. And so to me, it's no brainer. And yeah, it's, it's a huge function of the amount of capital in the U.S. Most of venture capital dollars, I want to say 60, 70% is in the United States. Um, you know, Asia has some decent venture capital going on as well. Europe has some going on. But you just see it fall off a cliff compared to the US. And so if you can get into that market and get people bidding on your company there, you're going to do much better because you can get multiple people bidding and you can find the right partner who can help you scale. Of course, when you're raising capital, you need to find the right long-term partner. It's not all about the amount of money you can bring in. But I thought that, that was really insightful that you could get 5 to 40% more capital. So what do you think the perspective of Sequoia or whoever else large VC firms is if they're looking at a US-based versus European-based company? Are they looking at like European regulation uh, difficulty expanding to different markets in Europe as opposed to being able to reach you know, 330 million people within just one country in the U.S.? Uh, like, so, what are of they course, looking at? It, uh, they're looking at the business model for sure. So if the business model isn't good, you're not going to get that premium. But if the you know, same business model in France versus U.S., why, like, why is that U.S. company pulling in 40% more? I, I would assume regulation and ease of of like expanding the market would be yeah. the top two. So my my guess would be supply and demand, more capital in the US, um, bigger market to expand to, uh, France, smaller market to expand to, more fragmented market across Europe, much harder to expand across Europe, um, and less access to capital. Um, so those are the main things. And of course, the big boys, A16Z, Sequoia, those guys can do deals all over the world. But the majority of US VCs are only doing deals with US companies. And so, the, you know, they are focused on that market. That's where the majority of those dollars are focused. And of course, you need to also have a good business model. But if you can show that you do business in the US and you also do business abroad, and you have the opportunity to have a U.S.-based company and raise in the U.S., I would say it's a huge competitive advantage. 
I mean, like I said, it's the difference between potentially five and $7 million yeah. that you're getting for that chunk of your company it, you give it up. It seems like a large part of that is just like the number of people that can invest in you in the US is, is so much greater because there's so many VC firms in the US that are only investing in US. And if you have a larger market, essentially, of VC firms, more competition for who's bidding on on investing and and then subsequently more more funds. Um, I do think that you know everyone's worried about the economy recession in the US, but I feel like in terms of stability, the US is still one of the most stable economies in the world and everyone's kind of still uh, moving based on the US. And we've seen a lot of strength, definitely some cons in terms of the like less globalized agenda in terms of uh, economic activity in the US. But I think it showcases that if there's a company that is working internationally in other markets that for whatever reason needs to pull back to their, their home country, whether it be regulation uh, or other geopolitical issues, you want your home base to be in the U S because of market size, stability of the economy, uh, and, and just the, the market as a whole in, in the United States. So I think it makes complete sense. 